talked about it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Carlos Jr. has this chicken sandwich that has held the test of time, in my opinion. It's held the test of time. It's been on the menu for 10, 20 years. As long as I can remember, this chicken sandwich was always like the cream of the crop when it comes to... <laughs> When it comes to fast food chicken sandwiches. I'm doing this again, bro. <laughs> when it comes to fa- nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, there's so many chicken sandwich spots, and the most notorious and most popular and most successful one is Chick fil A. Chick fil A brought swag to the chicken sandwich game, and although they don't include mayo, you know, mayo is like mayo in chicken sandwiches is what makes a chicken sandwich. and Chick-fil-A has done an incredible job not including mayo and having the option of having multiple sauces for you to choose from. But we're not talking about Chick-fil-A, we're talking about Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Bacon Swiss. Carl's Jr.'s Bacon Swiss Chicken Sandwich. Holy crap. It's still good. It's still meaty. It's still worth every single dollar that you're going to spend. It's, about a, it's a $7 burger. Seven dollar chicken sandwich, and it still holds the test of time. It is, in my opinion, the number two burger behind Carl's Jr.'s double bacon western cheeseburger. Although they have a ton of options, those two selections are what I consider top tier on K3 TV's list. Your thoughts? seven dollars i could take that seven dollars i get a whole combo in and out yeah so, uh, seven dollars for a chicken sandwich especially at carl's jr yeah, yeah. it's it, it's not worth it anymore bro like yeah I oh like, like I, I i totally agree uh prices for fast food has become basically the same as a, a dish at a restaurant basically you know Fast food no, used in, to be. In and out is still the same price. In and out, they've they've raised it a little bit, but not as much as all bit. these other places. You know, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Still get they a whole combo. Get yeah. a whole combo with seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah, a combo, combo. at a, at a at a Burger King or a Carl's Jr. Or oh, it's over ten bucks. Yeah, for it's, sure. it's over ten bucks now, and uh, you know, I still think those two burgers are worth it. Um, everything else, they can have back. <laughs> But those two, I will continue to conduct business with Carl's Jr. based on those two burgers. And the, the, their sides, their sides are still pretty good. Their strawberry Oh, the Chris Cut cake. Fries? The Chris, Chris Cut Fries. Their Chris Cut Fries the best in town. You can't get any better Chris Cut Fries. I don't know if Chick-fil-A has Chris, Chris Cut Fries. Does Chick-fil-A have Chris Chick-fil-A. Fries? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A has Chick-fil-A. Chris Cut Fries. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, Chick-fil-A fries are better. Yeah. For sure. Chick- Chick-fil-A quality is better. But their, their price is... I think they're a little bit cheaper, no? They're probably a little bit cheaper than Carl's Jr. Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A, probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah no, no, actually it is, it is, it is, it is cheaper. You get, I'm pretty sure you get a whole combo under $10 at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. McDonald's is... Yeah, Carl's Jr. is actually pretty expensive compared to the other fast food places, I feel like. Yeah. yeah well, I, it, it, uh, on top of that, you get more food when you order at Carl's Jr., their burgers are like massive. Yeah, they're, they're a lot bigger. They yeah. are a lot bigger. But uh, uh, McDonald's, you, know, you get like a hamburger or a chicken sandwich. They're like like this big, bite size for kids and stuff like that. You know? so. No, the the double bacon western is is a pretty big sandwich. It's a huge sandwich.